A dog struck by a car and killed. Now the owner says he wants answers. The allegation, someone ran over the dog on purpose. Good evening, I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm John Nicely. Happening locally live at 5, a story that has thousands of you talking. A dog is dead, and its owner says someone intentionally ran it down. The incident happened in Fremont on Friday. Our John Chapman spent the day there with the family that lost a beloved pet. The Millers say Tater was more than a dog, and they plan to take this matter to court. Brian and Carolyn Miller are missing a member of their family. Carolyn had Tater since he was a pup. He was only two years old. Brian says last week a neighbor intentionally ran over their precious tater with her car and killed him. She accelerated it to the point that she not only hit him with the front tires, but she hit him with the back tires also. She got out of the car and she goes, well, I didn't see him. And I said, you know, I, I was very irritated. I just yelled at her, you know, all the more reason to slow down. I loved him to pieces and it it broke my heart to know somebody did something like that to my, my baby. The Millers say that same neighbor had run over another neighbor's pet cat and threatened to shoot their dogs a few months ago. Brian and Carolyn filed a police report, talked to the local Humane Society, and told Tater's story on the Internet. Now thousands of people are talking about Tater and how Tater died. The support is great. It's helped me a lot. Now Brian and Carolyn are babysitting Ozzy. Chance is their pet from a rescue. They are concerned about the dog's future and their safety, and they plan to take their neighbor to court for killing Tater. What is it going to take to stop these people? What's it, you know, from going so fast, from deliberately, carelessly running people's pets over? You know, next time, what's it going to be, a child? Carolyn Miller believes the neighbor has already killed a child, her child, that had four legs and a tail, and who was always happy to see her. When I come home, I tell him, I said, well, where's my baby? You know, and he'd jump all over me and get all excited, you know, because he knew uh, he was my baby. In Fremont, with photographer Mike Plews, John Chapman, WOWT 6 News. And police are still investigating, and the county attorney is waiting on that information before making any decisions in this case.